from what we expect to receive uh, based uh, also it was uh, tableau power bi and i will talk a little bit uh, also about other uh, project uh, solutions uh, so let's start with agenda okay uh, so uh, first it's introduction then we'll talk about uh, definition uh, for bi platforms by gartner uh, mission and to uh, actually what we expect uh, from uh, uh, the BI platform, or uh, what tasks they will cover. Uh, then let's uh, uh, we will move uh, deeper and uh, look inside this black box. So first of all, we uh, user have to connect to data, uh, then prepare data, uh, calculate uh, create cal uh, calculated fields. Uh, then it will be create visualizations, compare visualizations inside dashboards. Uh, each BI platform has uh, per, uh, some uh, local features. Uh, uh, after uh, dashboard uh, creation, user uh, have to share results, uh, and uh, then uh, we'll talk about performance because it's very important point for uh, BI solutions and. Uh, I will talk a few words about development. And uh, the last point will be making a choice. So how a company they select in a, uh, one or another BI pro, uh, product. So uh, first is uh, introduction. So my name is Anna Varapayeva. I'm data warehouse business intelligence engineer in software. I have been working with uh, data analysis more than 10 years. It's like my experience. Uh, I was started uh, with uh, Excel. Uh, I was working as uh, uh, sales analyst, marketing analyst, uh, consolidated data analyst, and uh, spent uh, a lot of hours, days, weeks, and months with Excel, and maybe in years. Uh, then I had a uh, few years experience with sub business objects. So we created reports for big uh, company uh, uh, all over the world. And I had a few datings <laughs> with uh, Click and I dashboards. I just bought it's my experience with uh, dashboard creation, uh, like uh, this place where you have to code almost everything. But uh, it's good to, to compare when you start to work with, uh, for example, Tableau, where you just have to drag and drop almost all uh, objects. And then uh, my uh, last uh, pro uh, projects and ex big experience based on Tableau and Power BI solutions. That's why uh, I will focus actually on them. Uh, the next uh, item is definition by Gartner. Uh, Gartner is a global research advisory company providing information about uh, Sorry solutions. Sorry? Sorry for interruption, but are you changing the slides? Because I still see the first slide. Ah. Is that one or no? Oh, it does not change again. It's in the Sorry, first one. something wrong. We see titles. Okay, right now? Ah, agenda. okay, yeah. now, so. so <laughs> sorry, apologize. So uh, it was agenda, which I'm talking about. Uh -huh. uh, agenda points, a uh, few words about my experience and in chart, it's like, Moving from Excel to uh, years to uh, Tableau and Power BI experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> now it's more visible. <laughs> Sorry. And okay, uh, so it's Gartner, uh, the company which provides uh, insights, analyze companies, and uh, each year they uh, so it's this information about Gartner. And uh, the definition by them, it's business intelligence platforms enable enterprises to build BI 
applications by providing capabilities in the three categories. It's uh, analysis uh, uh, such as on, uh, online analytical tools, uh, uh, information delivery such as uh, reports and dashboards, and uh, it is uh, platform integration such as the metadata management and the development environment. And also they provide uh, uh, their view for modern uh, platforms, they, which are characterized by easy to use functionality that supports a full analytical workflow from data preparation to visual exploration and insight generation with an emphasis in uh, self-service and augmentation. And uh, the main interest in their uh, product for me is Magic Quadrant. Uh, each year in February, they provide this uh, compare for uh, software in uh, each category. And uh, we're interested in the category of analytics and business intelligence platforms. So they're divided into uh, four quadrants and uh, put uh, due to ability to execute and completeness of vision. There are four categories, so niche players, visionizers, challengers, and leaders. The main point actually for the main interesting item is leaders and quite a lot of years Tableau is here. And right now Microsoft on the top. The, um, the 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 main leader in here gain its ability to execute and completeness of vision. Also, we have click and passport for here. And if you're interested in this question, you can play and find uh, other uh, the information from uh, uh, previous years to compare. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, the next item is uh, mission. Uh, so, what uh, what I do in uh, what is the uh, purpose for BI platform uh, and what task uh, they cover? So, it is a transform data to knowledge. Anyway, it's about business intelligence in general. Of and there are a few bullet points, and I will uh, continue my uh, story in some bullet points like ideas. So uh, it provides small individual uh, from small uh, it provides information from small individual analysis to big enterprise solutions. Uh, it is uh, provided information for all uh, industries, but some vendors provide industry-specific uh, propositions like uh, uh, prepared uh, packages. And if you move, for example, to Click, uh, they will show uh, a special folder for, please check uh, information for your uh, industry. Uh, Business intelligence uh, tools uh, helps, uh, provide, uh, help provide fast insights. It supports uh, self-service analytics, enable users to connect to and ingest structured and unstructured data containing in various types of storage platforms and support the creation of analytical models. It's a good explanation from uh, Gartner. Uh, also, uh, this question in uh, security management, because it's data, data sometimes is sensitive. Uh, it uh, supports uh, a highly interactive dashboard it's important nowadays and uh, work with advanced analytical capabilities uh, that are easy accessed by users uh, both uh, on premises in in the cloud it, it, what we have right now so in the past it was just on on in, on premises solutions like five years ago and now we are moving uh, forward to more move to in cloud solutions. Uh, for example, this year we receive Looker. It is uh, first year when we can see, and it's uh, just an on cloud solution. And uh, if talk about uh, BI uh, platforms, look to uh, infographics uh, about current state uh, of 
virus and uh, just table as we had in the past and quite nice uh, charts and they are more informative to compare and understand what is going on uh, okay the next slide is about data connection uh, if we talk about uh, bi platform we expect uh, to re connect to some data uh, uh, in a, a third part so uh, there are a list of uh, uh, connections uh, and uh, depends of uh, bi solutions uh, the list will be uh, another uh, so uh, and uh, Tableau provide really huge list of options, uh, files, database, online services, maybe publish data sets or even work uh, through GDBC or ODBC. Uh, and uh, it's option to provide uh, connections to uh, new data sets uh, without uh, predefined connections, for example, uh, connection to Kibana and the elastic, elastic uh, connect to, to uh, elastic source sorry. uh if you talk about connection it's important to say that uh, quite often there are two uh, types of connection it's live connection or import uh, and if uh, user requests some information or customer or business uh, request some uh, analytical solution uh, it's always important to think what we expect it is related to how fast we will receive data and uh, what performance issues we can face uh, some uh, bi platforms cover uh, stream analytics sorry can i have a question yes so these connection types, uh, can we say that live is kind of a streaming uh, where import is something like a batch import or it's something else? Yeah. If you talk about streaming, it's like uh, logs and um, for monitors. And for example, uh, Tableau uh, provides live connections. So in each when a user open uh, that is a uh, dashboard. Uh, yeah. This word will be uh, connected directly to data source and provide data, but it doesn't mean that uh, in data source you will uh, see changes without mm -hmm. some additional actions. If you talk about streaming, it means that you open uh, uh, some dashboard and you see changes in time without additional uh, work. Okay, thanks. Okay. Uh, also is talk about uh, for example tableau or scheduling for updates so if user wants to see a uh, developer can create like uh, updates each five seconds and in this in this case uh, user can see this uh, like stream analytics something like that uh, also uh, uh, work with uh, data a user can create uh, custom queries uh, uh, for Power BI, for Tableau, and for a long list of uh, other uh, solutions. Uh, SQL is the main uh, query language. And uh, for example, Tableau, uh, 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 you write just uh, base uh, SQL, and Tableau will interpret uh, to uh, options like uh, uh, for example, for Oracle or for MySQL, that what you created as a request. Uh, also, we have M language, uh, which is using for Power BI. And uh, also, there is an option to type data manually. And uh, if I saw the most popular uh, data source, it's actually Excel file. <laughs> Quite common practice. But anyway, this is a list a screenshot from Tableau and this is a screenshot from Power BI. And for more, you can just see. Okay. Mm. Data preparation. Uh, yeah, also, a big point for uh, importance uh, work with uh, data preparation. So we receive. Uh, from the data source and uh, then we 
how to prepare this data before uh, show a data transformation uh, and uh, then a, a possibility to create a data model uh, in power bi it's built on data models in general in uh, tableau it more just uh, bring data and then put it like a flat table uh, but anyway uh, list of uh, relationship uh, very uh, important for power bi and also uh, present in tableau uh, filtering filtering is good uh, to uh, for performance uh, user can uh, on this step uh, filter everything which is not important just to uh, work with exactly what is needed uh, th uh, then uh, Tableau preparation, it's a Tableau provided uh, additional solution, Tableau prep. It uh, was uh, developed, I think, and present in uh, 2018. It's just nice screen uh, from Tableau. But anyway, uh, we expect to receive this uh, opportunity from any uh, BI tool. Uh, to work with uh, cleaning data, uh, transformation, etc. For example, here uh, and also uh, receive information about data. For example, this is print screen from uh, uh, Power BI, and we understand which columns we have, what the quality of data, amount of distant and unique values. Uh, and so on for tableau uh, this is a screen for uh, tableau preparation so a lot of options is possible on this level uh, also uh, uh, in data preparation we can create aggregated field uh, we can measure distribution of data uh, uh, also for tableau and i think uh, not more uh, there is a tool like a uh, tableau inter uh, data interpreter when you connect with data source and uh, automatically uh, system uh, investigate what data type and so on and after that user can clean and update check types split columns merge queries remove duplicates plus uh, replace values add lost items and so on what we need uh, for data transformation the next uh, it's so we uh, connected to data we uh, prepare data and then uh, very important stem is uh, create calculations. Uh, in different solutions, uh, the structure will be different. For example, this is uh, for Tableau, it is the dimensions, measures, and parameters. And it is, uh, it's divided automatically, but then user can uh, check. So we expect that like country will be a dimension, but amount of sales will be a measure. Uh, 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 then uh, in this step we expect to uh, have an opportunity to uh, create some hierarchies, um, organize uh, information in some folders, not to have a mess of fields but uh, work on this level. Uh, icons uh, providing uh, information about uh, data, for example in Tableau this is data, uh, ABC it means it's uh, text type uh, and you can see ABC with uh, equal sign and without it means that here it is just a uh, field from data source and this is a text or uh, calculated field and the same for example is number and this calculated uh, field with a number uh, is some integer type uh, for Tableau uh, we don't have information like uh, about the type but oh, we can see that this is, is like a this is calculated field this is field from the data source and this is calculated column and uh, for this uh, field uh, it is uh, available summar uh, this uh, summarization now uh, then uh, uh, all bi solutions uh, has their uh, set of functions 
quite often uh, uh, the same. Uh, so base functions will be the same, like sum, average, etc. Uh, on format, uh, but with some of quite often it is uh, different semantic. And when the BI developer switch from one tool to another tool, or there is also uh, uh, always need some time to uh, investigate uh, how works uh, the same functions, but on another semantic. And uh, plus uh, some new and uh, specific uh, functions from uh, vendor. Uh, for some statistic analysis uh, or working with hierarchies, uh, table calculations, and so on. Uh, data analysis expressions, it means it ducks. Uh, this is uh, like uh, language for Power BI, which is using Power BI. It's, it's from Microsoft. Uh, very important uh, for calculations. Uh, understand a level of detail in different tools it, it's implemented in another way uh, but uh, it's important to understand that it exists and uh, look how to implement this so this is picture uh, what which explains uh, so we have moved from uh, more aggregated to, uh, to more granularity level and uh, in each level, uh, and quite often, uh, sometimes we need to calculate on another uh, level than we provide. This is example from, uh, could you see my uh, uh, mouse? Yep. Thank you. So this is example from uh, Power BI, very easy, that uh, we have took uh, columns time and experience, and then we want to calculate average by uh, experience. If we will calculate on row level, it means nothing. That uh, I'm going to calculate on uh, for all column experience. And this is what we have. Uh, so, in uh, for example, in Power BI, it, uh, it's uh, uh, implemented with all all except all selected values and uh, like this. For uh, Tableau, it's quite interesting, their uh, solution for uh, LOD expressions are uh, fixed include and exclude. Now, when a developer or user uh, meet the first time, it need uh, some amount of time to investigate uh, how it works, but then it's very useful. Uh, then uh, work with uh, conditions and parameters. Uh, it's also about calculations. Uh, so when you create some cases, uh, and uh, for example, for one uh, measure, you can uh, select a few options. And if uh, month is uh, April, please calculate uh, column with April data, something like that. And uh, also parameters, it's uh, predefined inside the BI tool value. So if talk about measures dimensions, uh, it will be some data received and come from uh, data transformation and parameters just uh, created inside uh, BI tool, uh, like one, two, three, and uh, then create some case condition. If one, then go that, uh, do that uh, for if parameter equal to, then do another way. Calculations, quite often used option. Uh, then table calculation filter, it's also about filtering or by calculations. And uh, in calculated fields, so we implement different tricks and work around some uh, when it's, it's not easy to do on uh, just right order. Yeah, and uh, when I just uh, started uh, my work with Tableau, I feel that everything built on this walkarounds and without a direct way. Okay, the next uh, field is calculations. Uh, uh, visualization. Uh, so uh, each uh, BI uh, solution has uh, their 
list of visualizations. M most of, uh, of them, uh, it's just the same line chart, pie chart, uh, scatter plot, and so on. But uh, sometimes it's implemented in different ways. Uh, for example, uh, row and column changes. It's uh, like uh, this is screen from Tableau, and you can uh, play just with uh, put everything on column, column level or low uh, row level, uh, switch between them and play. For Power BI, uh, you have uh, you select different. You see different uh, uh, horizontal, or vertical bars. Uh, you have just place where you have to put uh, measures exactly for this value and it's not so agile as Tableau. And this is also the list of uh, visualizations by Tableau and a uh, cool thing from their side that uh, you can just select uh, data points and the system will recommend which uh, uh, charts are uh, uh, well, uh, uh, which, type, uh, which chart types you can use, and explanation, for example, what you need to uh, the sum and diff, uh, or another charts. Uh, and you can see that it's not cover, for example, chart like that or box plot. It's not implemented in visualizations. Uh, from uh, Power BI, but uh, it provided quite big. So this is three dots, means it's custom. And you can uh, create custom charts uh, or you can buy it on the marketplace. Uh, so uh, two different approaches. One approach is you can do whatever you want, almost whatever you want uh, with very agile uh, Tableau engine. Uh, or you can create custom, uh, so you can just limit it set of options and you can uh, create or buy custom visuals. Uh, best practices, I um, mark it in another color, but so it's important to, to understand that uh, it's better always to use best practices for visualizations. And so uh, in our community, we have very good uh, the, webinar you know, uh, session from my colleague. So enjoy. <laughs> you can find this uh, in the uh, storage. Then uh, tool tips. Uh, we expect uh, when we work with uh, BI platform, we expect uh, to have a chance to show tool tips. Uh, tool tips, uh, there are a few different uh, kinds of tool tips. Uh, uh, it's default or uh, structure it like uh, Power BI. You can uh, uh, put visuals, visualizations uh, on tooltip. Uh, in it's implemented a little bit uh, different ways. Uh, a few years ago, for Tableau, it, uh, Tableau, it wasn't possible. Right now, uh, they uh, developed this option. So it's 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 really useful uh, part uh, of uh, functional. Uh, design in conditional formatting. Uh, when you start to work with, uh, for example, new uh, PI, uh, PI uh, tool, uh, for example, you work, uh, had experience with another one, and even you had experience with Excel, you expect to find some uh, tools. So it's always a good idea to check uh, what possibility provides by uh, this tool. It means this uh, quite often, for example, in Power, uh, Power BI, this is the, the icon, and uh, here is a long uh, list of possible options to select color, uh, size, and a lot of different setups. And sometimes it's better to uh, know which is possible. And also conditional formatting, uh, very useful. And uh, when it, it, it helps to create heat maps uh, and provide very a lot of uh, a lot of interesting information and, uh, and uh, insights from the data. For example, it's like yellow, green, or uh, red button near the data, and you can just uh, uh, create uh, rules that if one value 
left then that it means that red color and so on uh, uh, also when you create visualizations you have to uh, provide useful information not just a table so total it's import, uh, important reference lines uh, reference lines also for a useful option uh, or even if you put data even in excel but also power bi tableau uh, allow you to show uh, not show exactly data but show as percentage of so you shouldn't create uh, special metrics you, it is just uh, provided easily uh, also if talk about uh, tools so uh, we expect to have visual information for any chart like title like legend like data labels and uh, you develop some charts so it is uh, always good to uh, think what is needed and provide in better way this uh, additional information uh values for martin i just talk about this uh, uh slicers filters and sorting rules it's important we expect to have it uh for sorting rules um, it's some, sometimes not uh, fine as expected for example in uh, power bi uh, the, uh, before the last release uh, it was uh, option just to uh, you can uh, in table sort only one column right now it's two columns ba -bam. Uh, the time in excel you can play better with this option a uh, new feature uh, is animation and play axis so when you can see uh, or uh, some dynamic information just to push a button and how it is uh, changing in time uh, it is uh, provided in, in the last releases uh, by uh, tableau and uh, yes 2020.1 uh, uh, and uh, before that i thought play access for uh, power bi exists so it's like uh cutting edge uh, technologies which are uh, uh, developed by can uh, bi uh, vendors uh, to in interest uh, their potential customers so uh, then also uh, data view and export options uh, just uh, sometimes user need this uh, to receive data uh, which shows on the chart for example this chart you have some information but uh, anyway uh it's just part of things and if you want to uh, check the, uh, what is behind values uh, you can download the data uh in uh, tableau there is a special option for uh, uh, data view for power bi uh, in uh, desktop version you can uh, download uh, uh, with some filters for example uh, a csv file from uh, the service you can download excel file and uh, also everywhere you can see maps it's often practice but uh, interesting uh, what we have do is uh, if uh, not use map but background uh, image images for example you have warehouse and uh, you can see information you also can work with like with the map with this uh, warehouse or uh, picture and uh, just uh, create special um, coordinates for some storage uh, places and uh, and uh, this, i just wanted to say that i really like this part of marks uh, for tableau it's very agile and you can do almost everything with uh, that uh, solution so they are great in this uh, dashboard so uh, you, uh, we have created uh, visualizations uh, that uh, which one ch separate charts and uh, now it's good idea to bring together to tell a story uh, for um, uh, different solutions we have some hierarchy of uh, objects in tableau we have uh, sheets like workbook worksheet and dashboard different objects and uh, versus in power bi just file and pages it's like in excel you have some separate pages and then you can uh, bring together them uh, to some 
they're bored of the story. And uh, Hyde, and I, I had also this uh, uh, tip, Hyde unused options. It's related to calculation field, it's related to visualization, and when you create dashboards, if you don't uh, need other sheets, no, just hide them. Uh, and uh, also, we have best practices for dashboard creation. Um, my advice, think about users. So, uh, how a user will uh, read information, uh, could user receive insights in first view, understand what's about. No, because it's not enough to uh, just create nice pictures and bring them together. It's uh, uh, to tell a story. Uh, it's better to understand that user read in this way. It's better to understand that uh, you you uh, uh, highlight, we, we emphasizes some places, and uh, help to better understand the information. Uh, also, one of the best practices uh, use landing page. For example, if you have a lot of uh, charts or visualizations, dashboards, uh, not try to put everything in one dashboard, but uh, create a landing page with a main selection. For example, uh, if you talk about uh, strategic uh, operational strategic uh, for comp business, uh, it can be uh, different parts, uh, marketing, sales, uh, human resource, and so on. And you can create this uh, landing page and then uh, provide navigation buttons. Or also, uh, Tableau, uh, sorry, Power BI provides like book bookmarks. Uh, one uh, additional option if, uh, from a BI platform, which I expect, it is uh, interaction, interactive uh, possibility. Uh, actions, for example, if you push some place, you move to another way, or even uh, in it opens you uh, some wiki page. Uh, if you highlight one chart, you can see uh, the related information on another chart, but not highlighted to the third chart. So it's relation between charts, and also drill down what we always expect from our BI tools. Uh, filtering level is also about relation. Uh, ah, filtering level, uh, if you, when you create filters, so it's possible to create a filter for one chart, for one uh, report, report and or visuals uh, dashboard, or for selected list of visuals visualizations. Uh, and if talk about uh, platforms and solutions, we expect to have different type of page view uh, adjustment to mobile uh, devices for example for phone and uh, right now as i saw almost all provide this possibility and this is where uh, where a nice picture i want to just just to share because uh, we all saw this dashboards <laughs> everywhere but it's a really nice story uh, from a tableau uh, public and uh, you can check after this presentation. So you can see this uh, uh, tool tip I showed. Uh, this is uh, a road to Fuji. One chart, other chart, third chart, is, uh, some information and uh, looks how nice it, uh, how it uh, developed. Okay, and uh, if the Tableau Public is source uh, for uh, sharing your results and uh, charts, and a good place to uh, learn how it is doing and how nice uh, uh, you you can always uh, download the chart and look. It, yeah, of course, if you have license or something like that uh, to work with Tableau uh, Desktop. And next, the next uh, is feature. Uh, I will try to speak uh, faster. So, uh, feature. Uh, this is uh, how uh, analytics uh, try to show that who is better. So, uh, analytics power is a distinguished point. Uh, this is, for example, a screen from the Tableau that uh, they provided for a long time, maybe three and and more years provides a lot of a big set of analytical tools. Uh, 
uh, forecasting and so on. Uh, also, natural language processing, it's uh, trend by the last years, but uh, each solution tried to implement this uh, querying by uh, just typing in, uh, into search box what exactly, for example, I want uh, sales in Germany uh, by years. And uh, the uh, system understand what you want and provides this chart for you. Uh, uh, different tools on different stages of this implementation, limitation of language, limitation of just uh, you can see everything and it will understand or just a um, uh, small uh, list of uh, words you can use and uh, the system will pro uh, recommend you. So without create, uh, uh, for example, zoom off or something like that. Explain data and insights. So uh, also feature which try to uh, developed uh, by uh, BI platforms uh, not to do uh, to, uh, so machine learning uh, artificial intelligence try to do everything uh, instead of you just to buy our product and we will provide any information uh, also for example power bi okay, feature uh, has feature key influencers it's just a picture it is a chart uh, by uh, machine learning algorithms uh, provide some insights from data which you want to receive storytelling uh, its ability to create just a part of functional just create a story and for example download is pdf uh, uh, and also uh, there are some difference between uh, on premises and cloud version functional uh, for tableau uh, the desktop better uh, cloud it's, uh, has uh, less functionality for uh, Power BI uh, cloud functional functionality quite strong. And uh, if you talk about other solutions, also uh, it, it can be different. And some solutions only created, as I mentioned, a looker on cloud. And uh, some old systems uh, which are now uh, not in, in so cool position in comparison with uh, modern. Pablo, uh, Power BI or Tableau that built everything on uh, premise and the, right, night, now they are trying to uh, run and uh, create their solutions. Uh, next, uh, uh, share results. Uh, so uh, everything is created. Uh, users have to share results. Uh, we have. Uh, like in Tableau, Tableau server, we have a service in uh, Power BI. Uh, always there is a share or publish uh, button to share this chart to the server. Uh, so user have to connect to this uh, uh, online version, web version and share results. Uh, also share result, uh, results can be shared by embedding analytics solution. Uh, that you can just uh, put uh, the link uh, to your site. Uh, Power BI provides apps as a solution from them. Uh, if talk about server, there is uh, also a question about server administration, user access management, and analyze user experience. Uh, it's present uh, from uh, BI platform, and we expect expect to receive this opportunity. Uh, also on uh, data uh, on this uh, service uh, solution or server side uh, we can uh, update uh, uh, download data set we can create some schedule to for update this mm, uh, also uh, some job level security setups can be uh, provided uh, we can receive some alerts and uh, set up what uh, what uh, user message? What message should be received by uh, sent to my user to uh, in in case of some uh, data values? And uh, so, for example, a developer created a dashboard, uh, upload uh, or share, publish it uh, to the server, uh, created the uh, schedule 
for updating each midnight, for example, and forgot. Uh, one man, once later, uh, and uh, set up some alerts. Uh, one month later, uh, some value doesn't work, for example. And uh, here we will receive this message that uh, something going wrong with sales or something going wrong with the resource. Uh, this is print, sc print screen for Power BI. You can see this option for apps, uh, some work uh, spaces uh, for uh, do, uh, uh, uploaded reports. So we have a list of options, for example, view related. And here this is an option to see uh, inside. Then uh, performance. Uh, if a developer work with the dashboard on any user, work with uh, BI tool, uh, we should use uh, always think about performance. On data source side, uh, on queries, on data model, uh, when create calculated measures. And then uh, if something going wrong, it, and for BI tools like a pain point, uh, for many years it, for Tableau it was a problem <clears throat> and uh, it's always some limitation because you, you can't do, uh, you can't receive fast uh, insight if you wouldn't uh, prepare aggregation in best way. So and uh, for uh, if you talk about BI platforms we expect to see some perform, uh, analyzed performance uh, solutions. Uh, we have a uh, performance analyzer as a part of the tool, both in Power BI and uh, Tableau. Uh, you can record the performance check uh, query, uh, check time. Uh, uh, in uh, service, uh, in the Tableau uh, server, you also have option to analyze performance. Uh, I, again, emphasize on uh, best use best practices uh, when uh, develop solution analytical sol uh, solutions uh, dark studio uh, for power bi helps to uh, analyze uh, performance issues and uh, if we talk about embedded solutions uh, keep in mind that infrastructure issues also uh, have some influence uh, uh, to the performance so if you uh, receive uh, so, uh, created some uh, solution on, for example, in Tableau uh, cli for client, they embed it to their uh, site and you receive complaints uh, about the performance. So we should check on Tableau side and then how it is working on the client side. Maybe it's just issue not in Tableau. Uh, then uh, almost the last slide, Panda. Uh, development. Uh, if I talk, uh, mentions modern uh, data uh, BI platforms, uh, main focused on drag and drop uh, functional. But anyway, the uh, big amount of uh, places where uh, end users sometimes need developers. So it's a uh, good uh, SQL query, uh, which needs some experience. Uh, prepare calculated measures. So wisely <laughs> create uh, uh, sometimes in uh, other bi tools uh, quite often we need some uh, code for create charts and formatting uh, th there are a uh, possibility uh, to uh, work with r and python for analytical purposes uh, provided by uh, tableau for power bi and a few years ago it was like a trend Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, also, to create custom visualizations uh, for uh, Power BI, you also have to develop something. Um, embedded into sites require development. Uh, REST API usage also provided by uh, BI platforms and needed some develop uh, work. Version, con version control implemented in different ways uh, for each solution. So uh, when you start to work with the new BI solution, it's better to check how it is work. And other places, so it's not <laughs> all set. And the last uh, point is uh, making a choice. So if a client or you look 
for some BI solution and think about which one select. Um, one of the most point that I saw it was money and price because uh, BI platform it sounds expensive in general and good uh, product, good uh, big money actually. Uh, this is a uh, comparison for uh, Power BI and Tableau, different uh, conditions for uh, try uh, to start working because trial for uh, 14 days in uh, Tableau and Power BI desktop free in general. So if uh, you want to analyze your family expenses, you can just uh, download and use Power uh, Desktop without any uh, cost but if you want to share this with, with your family you have to publish somewhere and this is point of uh, uh, work with a uh, user uh, or with you so uh, for power bi pricing uh, power bi desktop is free but uh, we're talking about online uh, options is power bi service there are two packages power bi pro and premium uh, with price per user and uh, monthly what uh, it's, it's here's uh, price uh, for tableau also per month but it means that you have to buy a year not just spend uh, uh, if you want to play with uh, tableau and you ready to spend uh, uh 70 uh, dollars not you, you have to spend uh, by a year license uh, and uh, here also if it, this is a license for desktop so creator or access for explorer or viewer so if you a developer you need creator or just uh, uh, part of functional is uh, explorer or viewer just to receive to access to this is a sample uh, published data and uh, if you uh, and uh, for server tableau it's really another price but if you just a uh, single uh, developer which, uh, who wants to play play with this uh, you can use a tableau public server it's free for use but uh, you should understand that anyone can uh, have access and download your chart so it's not a solution for business but it's a quite nice option uh, to try to start work uh, uh, other options is uh, fun uh, fun uh, functional from bi platform and uh, expected usage so uh, when a customer or you uh, thinking about which platform select uh it's important to what what you expect from this platform or for at least just just this bi tool uh, uh another option uh which also mentioned uh, uh, a selection item uh, by gartner for a, a list of different uh bi platforms itself uh that uh what another uh, which another solutions uh, by this vendor business uh, is using right now for example if uh, this uh, company uh, had a huge uh, sap uh, infrastructure maybe they need just uh, sap solution or microsoft quite often if uh, microsoft uh, comes uh, to the company they try to uh, provide full uh, set of their uh, solutions and uh, if company has azure and other licenses uh, power bi will be like one option and uh, then if they have some uh, proof of concept in tableau it's maybe kind of painful item to uh, rewrite the solution to power bi uh, also, it's uh, making choice uh, option is support. Uh, so business sometimes expected uh, and look how good it com a company is supporting their solutions. Uh, also, development cost. Uh, uh, for example, Power BI and Tableau. It's really um, 
expensive in uh, license, but very easy to work. So just drag and drop uh, for a lot of uh, purposes. So even business uh, uh, don't need uh, special engineers uh, or developers. And another way, there are some uh, BI uh, solutions uh, that are very, not so expensive, but in this way, expect so uh, developers have to work and prepare dashboards. So uh, it spends some time, sometimes months, uh, weeks and months for develop that uh, dashboard just to, uh, a developer have to code each uh, font, each uh, text size and so on. And maybe uh, other uh, may, uh, options. <laughs> uh, here's a uh, uh, link to check the uh, price uh, on the site. Uh, Tableau and Power BI, and this is also linked to Tableau uh, public service. So thank you. That's all from me for today. Any questions? Thank you very much, Anna. Uh, could you please <coughs> uh, uh, such, uh, answer such a question? In the beginning of your presentation, you showed us Gartner magic, magic quadrants, uh, and it clearly distinguished MS Power BI as a vision and execution readiness lead. Uh, but during the presentation, I got an impression that Tableau is more advanced and user-friendly system. Could you please explain? Is it biased a little due to your working experience or we need to look at other features that Power BI excels? Thank you for question. Actually, uh, what we have here, it's completeness of vision. So I'm talking about uh, uh, BI engineer experience and uh, what I saw on my projects. I'm talking about completeness of vision and ability to execute. Uh, Power BI is uh, faster implement new uh, features. Uh, looks like they uh, spend more my money for uh, uh, the, uh, product development, I think. But anyway, uh, that faster try to uh, produce some new options and uh, analyze uh, requirements from the market. Five years ago, if uh, I think about Power BI and uh, Tableau, actually I um, didn't have a choice. It's only uh, Tableau was uh, relevant and enough for good uh, solution. For this year's uh, Power BI quite fast tried to uh, find its share of market and to be a leader. And they provide a, a lot of uh, features. For example, they uh, uh, have a very strong uh, on-cloud solution. Uh, also uh, for Tableau, but uh, I have one experience uh, example. Uh, in the past, I have uh, one big issue on project uh, that we have parameters. Parameters just uh, conditions to select another option. And uh, it was expected that parameter should be dynamically. So it is received for some uh, column from data source. And we, when uh, after data source refresh, uh, we receive another values. For example, uh, we have three countries, and uh, after data source refresh, we have 10 countries. And uh, no way to uh, update this uh, without uh, check the file dashboard by developer. And uh, it was five years as the most uh, required in community question. Only in 2020, they provided this. So maybe uh, Gartner, Mark, uh, Microsoft is a better vi uh, visioner, uh, leader uh, because of that point. And also you can read the whole list of this explanation uh, of uh, magic quadrant. And there are a lot of interesting information uh, about uh, trends in mo uh, modern analytics and business intelligence platforms market. 
in general. And uh, there are also explanation uh, why they put one or another uh, solution on that point. And also they uh, provide plus and cons uh, for each tool, which are in this picture. Thank you very much. Thank you. I have a question. Uh, does desktop version of Power BI work with external data sources like BigQuery or maybe some other database on the my server? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank uh, you. Yes, but uh, <laughs> maybe not all. Would you expect? But. Uh, um, And yes, it should work, but maybe with some limitations. Okay, thank you. And one more question. Uh, is it possible to add uh, some kind of configurations with dashboard from desktop Power BI and upload it to the cloud native Power BI to, to, like, to migrate from desktop to, to cloud native? Sorry, could you explain, understand? Uh, if we, for example, if we use a uh, desktop version of Power BI and we, would, and we want to migrate to cloud version of Power BI, is it possible just to load some configuration and uh, download from uh, desktop version and upload to, to cloud Power BI and see there all dashboards and so on? Uh, you can pub uh, you have some file and you can just uh, publish it to the cloud uh, it's uh, and then you can uh, store uh, it is in cloud and uh, work uh, deployment to another environment for example uh, work okay. between uh, intern and uh, prod okay thank you 